So we're going to look at this integral cotangent times ln of 6 sine theta d theta. Now we're going to transform this into a basic integral by making a u substitution. So what are some reasonable u substitutions to make? You never just want to go for the variable. So if I try u equals theta du equals d theta, this entire problem transforms only in the letter. So if you ever let uh, u equal either x or theta or whatever your variable is, you're going to actually get nowhere. So this is a, a useless u substitution. So let's undo all this. So that won't help us at all. All right, let's try something a little bit bigger. So you can't just go with theta. So what's another option? Uh, I like to kind of pick go inside out. So let's go ahead and grab sine theta. It's tempting to grab six sine theta. That might uh, work out just fine, but I like to get the kind of smallest thing first. If that doesn't work, my next uh, choice will be six sine theta. So I'm just gonna go with sine theta for now. Du equals derivative of sine theta is cos theta. Now normally you could write a dx down here or d theta down here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just skip a step and put my d theta on the right side there. All right. Unfortunately, uh, we have a cotangent, not a cosine. All right. So we're going to have to work a little bit harder. So this one won't actually get us into a basic integral. All right, so go a little bit bigger. I don't think including the six is actually gonna help, despite what I said that I would try before. It's just gonna give us, well, it'll put a six and a six right there. So again, we still don't have six cos theta, t theta. All right, so we go a little bigger. We'll include the natural log. So I'm gonna cross out the ones that didn't work. Let u equal ln of six sine theta du. All right, we have a chain rule here. Derivative of natural log is one over the inside. So we got one over six sine theta times derivative of the inside. So derivative of six sine theta is six cos theta. And there's another, don't forget d theta. All right, so your six is cancel. So we got cos theta over sine theta, d theta. All right, so from here, wouldn't it be nice if cosine over sine was cotangent? And it turns out it is. So recall, cos theta over sine theta. Is cotangent theta. All right, so we are done with the first two parts, you can answer those, but let's go ahead and actually finish this substitution off. So I'm gonna write out the original integral. Okay, so let's reorder it. So I just moved the cotangent over. So this cotangent theta d theta is, if I finish writing this, cotangent theta d theta. So there we go. So in the parentheses is just du. And what is outside? Well, that whole thing, ln six sine theta, all of that is u. So we got u du. All right. This one's so simple, it might actually seem difficult. So I'm gonna try u squared, derivative u squared is two u. So I just put a half in front and derivative of one half u squared is u to the first power times two times a half. So it's just u plus constant. We have to unsubstitute. So somewhere up there is u. It's the very, very top of the screen ln of six sine theta plus c. There we go.